A Blair County man is in jail after police say they found all the makings of a meth lab inside his Roaring Spring home. State police say they spent several hours inside that house on Cross Cove Road Monday night, removing dangerous chemicals that they say when mixed can catch fire and explode. Maria Miller is following this story for us today, and she's live with the details. Maria? Well, Marty and Jen, when we stopped by that house today, no one answered the door, but there was a sign posted by police that warned of those dangerous chemicals that could still be lingering inside. State police say they were originally called to this Roaring Spring home Monday night for a domestic disturbance. But when they pulled up, they say Robert Franklin was leaving with a bucket of chemicals commonly used to make meth. Once they got to the scene, they recognized that there were uh, ingredients that are commonly used to make methamphetamine. So they then contacted our vice unit and they executed a search warrant and discovered there were several one pot method of manufacture of methamphetamine inside the residence. According to court documents, a woman who also lived at that house told police he'd been making meth for over a year. She allowed them to go inside and search where they say they found numerous ingredients that when mixed make a dangerous, possibly explosive concoction. The danger with the one pot method is that the bottle that they're using to make the methamphetamine is very volatile. So if it's shaken or if uh, the cap is taking off too quickly, there's a possibility that the, it can burst into flames. And that's why state police say they needed extra help from local fire departments as well as their clandestine lab team that went in with full body suits to remove the chemicals and left behind this warning on the door. To let anybody who may be nearby uh, aware that is a, still a dangerous scene, um, but there is no guidelines as far as how long that piece of paper has to stay up or if they choose to take it down, they can take it down whenever. And documents also say that the woman who lives inside told police that she doesn't use meth, she doesn't help make it, but she allegedly told them that she will buy ingredients for Franklin from time to time. She's not facing any charges tonight, but police tell us their investigation is still ongoing. In the meantime, Franklin is in jail on $35,000 bond. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.